Welcome class of 2024. We'd like to share some information with you guys for registration purposes. As you start to look at your courses for next year, we want to make this available for you as a reference tool. So I'm going to walk through your registration card, what courses are required and what electives we offer here at East so that you can make your best decisions for next year. In the registration materials that have, that have been provided for you, we have several items. We have a registration card, which your class, Rising Sophomores, is green. You have a copy of your transcript. These are the courses that you have either passed or taken up to this point to help you as you select courses for next year to make sure you don't sign up for a course that you already have credit for and that we can follow the proper sequence. Graduation tracker. This is a planner that I have prepared for you just for your reference. You can use this as you move through high school and you can check off the courses that, courses that you have passed in order to maintain progress towards graduation. Then we have a Davidson County Schools High School Planning Guide for you to use as a reference tool. In that planning guide are all the different courses that could be offered across the district. Not every school offers every course, so just understand that. Courses that are offered at East Davidson, are not necessarily the same electives that would be offered at Leopard, for example. We also have given you a yellow copy of our CTE Academies that I will reference here shortly. Let's take a moment to look at your registration card. Again, your registration card is green. That is unique to your class. And on this registration card on the back side is what I'm looking at here. We have the different courses that we offer here at East for our sophomore class. On the left-hand side, we have English, Math, Science, and Social Studies. So we start with the required courses for sophomores, and then we move into electives, PE electives, Fine Arts, Business, Family and Consumer Science, Ag, Health Science, Trade, Technology, and Engineering, and then World Language. These are your elective courses that you can sign up for. When you finish, you will choose eight courses for next year, four for the fall, four for the spring. And depending on how your schedule works out, some courses may land in the fall, others in the spring. We also ask that you choose some alternates here. And the reason we ask you to do this is because if you choose two electives that end up being offered in the same period during the same semester, since you can't be in two places at once, we'll have to go down here and choose an alternate to replace one of those courses. So we'll have to make a choice. And what I would like for you to do is List your alternates in the order that you would like to take them if we have to choose one of these. So number one will be the course that you would most want to take if one of your original electives does not work out. Now, when you fill this out, the eight checks that you have at the top or the seven checks, if you take band year long, that counts as two, so that would be eight. So you'll either have around seven or eight checks, eight courses total, and then you write in your alternates. Do not check your alternates up here. Just write them in down here. The courses you check up here are the courses that you want to take. That's the eight that you really want the most. And then you got your alternates down here, along with your student information that you'll fill in. Okay, let's go through each area here and discuss the courses that you will need to sign up for. As a freshman this year, you should have taken English 1 or English 1 Honors. So English is pretty easy. Moving into your sophomore year, you will sign up for either English 2 or English 2 Honors. Math. Math is a little bit more complicated because some of you took Math 1 in the 8th grade, and then you moved into Math 2 this year, and perhaps even Math 3 as well. Others took 8th grade Math, and you've taken Math 1 this year. So you'll sign up for Math 2 next year. Math, you just go in order. So if you pass Math 1 this year, you'll sign up for Math 2 for next year. If you took Math 2 this past year, you would sign up for Math 3. Now, some of you are advanced students. Perhaps you've taken Math 2 honors and Math 3 honors, so you're ready to go into pre-calculus. Others just took Math 2 this year, so you're ready for next year. Maybe you'll sign up for Math 3 honors and pre-calculus, and that would go ahead and give you your four required math courses and then you can work on more advanced level math your junior and senior year. So math will look different depending on the student. If you have any questions about any of this information, 
when you're sitting down trying to make your decisions, please, please reach out to the school and talk with Miss Woodrum or myself, and we'll be happy to help you. Science. Every student needs to take three science courses in order to graduate. These courses are earth science, biology, and then a physical science. And when we say a physical science, that can be either physical science itself, chemistry, or even physics. We don't offer physics here at East Davidson, but the, the district does offer a virtual option for physics honors. My recommendation is as a sophomore, you'll probably be signed up for biology if you've not yet had it. So earth science is what you took this year as a freshman, then you move into biology. Some of you may have doubled up and taken earth science honors and biology honors this year. So you'll go ahead and move into chemistry honors next year. Once you've taken chemistry honors, if you enjoy science, we offer other electives along the way that you could sign up for. Social studies. There are four required social studies courses that you will need to pass in order to graduate from high school. This year as a freshman, you've taken world history or world history honors. Next year, as a sophomore, you will take civics or civics honors. Then your junior year, you'll be able to take American history or sign up for AP history, and then you'll finish out your high school career with personal finance. These are new courses that have just changed this past year at the state level. But for next year, you will sign up for civics or civics honors as a sophomore. CTE academies. As I previously stated, in your registration packet, you should have received a yellow handout that shows you our different academies. And within each academy, there are four courses that you need to pass in order to complete the academy. And we encourage you to pursue areas of interest within these academies. Many of you this year as freshmen took career management, and perhaps you also took Microsoft Word. If so, both of those courses count towards the four that you would need in any of our academies. So we kind of set it up that way to get you started. And then you can move into your level one and two courses in order to complete an academy. Some freshmen took welding one. Maybe you want to sign up for welding two next year. And then you'll need your two other courses to complete that academy. Others perhaps took foods one and you're ready to take foods two as a sophomore. So think about what you've already taken or what you would like to take and sign up for the appropriate CTE electives. Yearbook and media. If you're interested in being part of the yearbook staff or being a media assistant, these spaces are limited. So there is an application process and the applications are available in the front office along with other registration paperwork. You will need to complete these applications entirely and return by the week of March 22nd in order to be considered for those courses for next year. This year as a freshman, you have taken health and PE or you are currently in health and PE. Once you complete that, you have met your graduation requirement for physical education. We do, however, offer electives in PE for sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Once you have passed PE, you can sign up for conditioning and or advanced PE. And you are allowed to take one PE course per semester, but not more than one. Here at East, the world language that we offer is Spanish. If you are planning on going off to a four-year university, you must complete two levels of a foreign language to meet the UNC requirement. So here at East Davidson, you would take Spanish one and Spanish two. So as a rising sophomore, as long as you have at least a C in English one, you're eligible to sign up for Spanish one, which I encourage you to do if you're planning on attending a four-year university. After that, you would then take Spanish two and colleges would love to see a third level foreign language. So you could take Spanish three honors as a junior or senior even. Honors waiver forms. We have a pretty standard set of criteria here for students to level up to an honors course, if you will. If you're currently in a regular course and you make an A or above and you would like to step up to the honors level for the second course next year, you can do so without a waiver form. For example, if you're in world history regular this year and you made a 90 or above, 
and you would like to take civics honors next year, you could just sign up for civics honors because you've met the academic requirement. Or if you were in world history honors this year and you maintain an 85 or above, you could simply sign up for civics honors for next year without a waiver form. You only need a waiver form if you do not meet the academic requirement. These waiver forms are available in the front office. The reason we ask you to fill out a waiver form is because we want you to be successful. So we want you to explain to us what you plan on doing in order to be successful in an honors level class, which is much more rigorous and more time consuming. So those waiver forms are available in the front office. To note, if you do pick up a waiver form to sign up for a honors level course, you'll need to have that completed and turned in with your registration materials the week of March 22nd. And it's important to note, once you wave into an honors level course or sign up for an honors level course or AP course, May the 7th is the last day to change your mind. After that date, we are working on building our master schedule for next year, which includes your schedule, and we'll be unable to make changes after this date. So it's very important that you think this through. And then if you want to change your mind and back back down to a regular level course, we will need to know by May the 7th. To recap, on the back of your registration card where the courses are listed, you will choose eight courses. These courses will include your required courses that you must take in English, math, science, and social studies, and then other electives to equal a grand total of eight courses for the year. Please make sure that you write in four alternates. Do not check these on your registration card. Write them at the bottom right. Remembering to choose in the order that you would want to take these courses if one of your original choices does not work out in your schedule. Once schedules are finalized over the summer, we have a very difficult time making changes because the master schedule is very difficult to put together in the first place. So it's very important that you take time to make sure that you choose the proper courses. If you have any questions at all through this process, please do not hesitate to call the school and speak with either Ms. Woodrum or myself. Some key dates to remember. Beginning next week, all registration resources are available in the front office during lunches. Our 100% remote students, we've made that information available for you. And we've asked that you come by the school and pick up your items. And then that you return those to the school by the week of March 22nd so that we can complete registration. Those students who are 100% remote, you can just drop off your completed forms at the front office. If you have any questions, please call 336-476-4814 and ask to speak with Ms. Woodrum, a guidance counselor, or myself, and we'd be happy to help you out. Don't forget, if you sign up for an AP or honors level course or wave into an honors level course, the last day to change your mind is May the 7th. I'd like to thank you for your time. Have a great day.